Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, like the video. Also comment, let me know your thoughts on the case. Now the Kinahan Cartel is often regarded as Ireland's most powerful organised crime group. They have links in the UK of course, Spain, Belgium and also United Arab Emirates. So powerful the organised crime group are, the reports suggest that the Kinahans could be worth upwards of 1 billion euros in order to ensure the continued smooth sale of transatlantic movement of GUNs, H and Coke, another Class A gear, and also money laundering, you need foot soldiers, lieutenants, gang members, hitmen, men who follow orders without reason or remorse, men who blue tape an entire area and have civilians in fear of talking to the guard eye. Now this is where Kinahan Cartel member Bernard Fogarty comes in. When Bernard Fogarty was considered a real life hitman with over 52 previous convictions to his name, in 2022 he was sentenced to life for the M of Dad of Four of businessman Barry Wolverson. He was also jailed for the attempted M of Mark Ivers and he was also jailed for being in possession of a rack submachine and live ammo. Now Kinnan hitman Bernard Fogarty from Crom Castle Court in Corlock, Dublin was known to terrorise the Corlock area. Bernard Fogarty had done in a balaclava and shot 30 year old Mike Ivers multiple times in broad daylight at a time of 7.10pm on Friday the 6th of September of 2019. Now Mike Ivers had taken a taxi to an address in Steenville Road in order to discuss the sale of a motorbike. Now Mike Ivers greatest mistake was picking up a phone to an associate and actually going to that address. So, after Mark Ivers entered the house, a taxi driver noticed a man wearing a balaclava walking in Mark's direction. He also had a GUN gripped in his hand. Now, Bernard was also wearing a boiler suit and gloves, and he had exited a Nissan Almira. Now, Bernard was so brazen that he made no attempt to hide his GUN from people like mothers, children, and also fathers. In fact, it was says that when a local resident commented on a black GUN, Bernard held it up and showed it to the man or woman before heading in Mark's direction without a care in the world. There was no fear in Bernard. After all, he was from the Steenville Road himself. This was his area. He ruled that place. Now he stormed the house where Mark Ivers had just entered one minute ago. Mark Ivers was struck in the stomach and also the leg and he was taken to the hospital. Now at the time of the incident, children were playing across the road when the shooting took place. A woman was also walking along the street pushing a pushchair. One witness says that they were on Steenville Road when people began to run down the street in fear after hearing the booming noise. They also made a gun gesture and told that man to run as well. Other witnesses also described smelling gunpowder in the air. CCTV showed the aftermath and that was Bernard and a woman going back into the Nissan Amira and driving it to the Edenmore area before it was set alight. Now Bernard Fogarty and his pal Robert Rue Redmond had also moved in tandem and then shot that of four Barry Wolverson. Barry Wolverson was a known and well liked businessman who rented a space at the Madigan Yard in Swords. At the time of the tragic incident Barry was expecting his fifth child with his wife. So on 17th of January 2022 Barry Wolverson and Gerald Wildman were sitting in a car when Bernard and Robert were alleged to have ran down on the car and then shot Barry multiple times. Gerald was also struck in the incident. Now during the court case, police had watched over 1700 hours of CCTV footage documenting both men's movement. Now there was no cooperation from Gerald Wilderman and as for Barry Wolverson, he was pronounced dead after being comatose for 13 months. Police arrested Bernard Fogarty 30 minutes after the shooting and noticed the smell of petrol on him. When he was taken to the station, he requested to wash his hands first before any evidence could be taken. Now because Bernard was such a ruthless character, according to Barry Wolverson's wife, while Barry was in a coma, he would dial up Barry's wife and tell her to keep her mouth shut. He would also spray paint the door at the family home and also smash every panel on the family car. Things got so bad for Barry's wife and the children that they had to move out of the area. It wasn't until 2022 
that Bernard's crimes finally caught up with him, and in 2022 he was jailed for life, and now Bernard Fogarty was found dead in his jail cell recently. Is that karma, or just a coincidence? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Stay safe. Safe.